Hey everybody, welcome back around the blog and grill. I'm your host Doug here with your video blog for October 11th, 2013. I got football pick 'em for you. I look at the MLB playoffs, but first I want to start off with something I um, talked about on Wednesday about what I was going to talk about Peyton Manning, and I have this theory that Peyton Manning and the playoffs could go down a little bit different this year. I don't think they're going to run the table. I think they will lose, but and I also do not think they will be the top seed or even the top two. They might play the, in the divisional week, which would not be a bad thing depending on where they play. Peyton Manning has never won a game in temperatures of 30 degrees or lower. His playoff record is 9-10, and 10, and I really think he should think about backing into the playoffs, getting the Chiefs and the Colts ahead of him because I think the Colts and the Chiefs are the two other best teams top to bottom top to bottom in the AFC, and I think the Colts could be the best team top to bottom in all of football. Maybe the Saints are, but the Colts, they're playing some strong football right now for sure. So maybe Manning, my theory is Manning might back into the playoffs, get to play in these warmer places as he played bad in Denver last year, and maybe just this would be what Manning needs to get into the big game and get to play in the Super Bowl again. Because I think if Manning wins another Super Bowl, He'll be considered probably the greatest quarterback of all time. Even only, even with only two Super Bowl rings, just his regular season stats to go with it, especially the year he's putting up this year, <clears throat> that will really have a lot to say about what his legacy will be. That's my theory. Don't be surprised if he backs in to the playoffs. They have their last four games, home against Tennessee, home against San Diego, at Houston, at Oakland. <clears throat> so depending on what the situation is, they could rest guys. And just say, eh, if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. All right, so that's my take on Manning. Now I want to talk about the MLB playoffs. And the last two nights, we've seen two great game fives, a veteran versus a rookie, and the veteran has come out on top. And this just shows the importance of an ace. We saw Adam Wainwright go complete game against the Pirates, pitching phenomenally. Adam Wainwright showing the importance of having that top guy in your rotation and how that top guy can really take it. And Justin Verlander last night is not the top. It wasn't technically the top guy in that Tiger rotation, but he showed how to get it done too. And those guys just showed how important it is to have that ace. Both guys pitching phenomenally. Verlander, there was questions about him coming into the playoffs. He has pitched dynamite for the Tigers, and Adam Wainwright's thrown two great games as well. So tonight we'll get to see our first... Um, championship series matchup and that's going to be between the Dodgers and the Cardinals. It's going to be Zach Greinke versus the rookie Joe Kelly. I think it's going to be a great game for sure. Um, Matt Kemp is going to be in the lineup. I'll run down lineups for you real quick here. Uh, we got Crawford in left, Ellis at second, Ramirez at short, Gonzalez at first, Puig in right, Uribe at third, Ethier center, Ellis catcher Grinky pitching and then for the Cardinals we got Carpenter at second Beltron in right Holiday in left Adams at first Yachty at catcher John Jay in center Freeze at third base Cosmo at short and Joe Kelly in um Joe Kelly on the mound and I was wrong about Matt Kemp Matt Kemp is not going to play tonight Andre Ethier is going to be in the lineup tonight in center field. Matt Kemp should be back too, so we're going to see some good pitching matchups for sure. Tomorrow, Kershaw versus Waka. That's going to be a good game as well. And Wainwright is set to throw game three, so he'd throw game three and game six, so that should be pretty exciting as well. And then in on the American League, so I think I mean, I think the Cardinals will find a way to get it done. Even not having their top guy at the top, I think they'll find a way to get it done. And we and in the Tigers Red Sox we got Anibal Sanchez and we got John Lester going at it. This is gonna be a good series too. Um, future starters Scherzer Buckholtz game two, Lackey and Verlander will go in game three. Those are gonna be some great, great matchups for sure. Just to see some of these guys go toe to toe. Um, the good lineup of the Red Sox up against the decent starting pitching of the Tigers. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens for sure in this series. I think this could be a seven-game series for sure. And I think the Red Sox just have the deeper lineup. So I get the Red Sox and the Cardinals moving on to the World Series. 
All right, so time for football pick them. I'm going to pick three. I'm going to pick two college games, give you my upset alert, and then I'm going to pick the three biggest pro games as well. So first, my first game, Oregon and Washington. That's going to be a great game. There could be 150 points scored in this game for all we know. They're going to be going up and down the field. You're going to see 150 plays of no huddle. It's going to be exciting. Tough game in Washington. I think Oregon has too many weapons. I see Oregon coming out on top. I'm going to give it a 55 to 50 final score. Oregon wins. All right, my next game, Florida and LSU 17 versus 10. Not a great college football weekend, but still some interesting games to watch for sure. This one should be good. Florida LSU, a rivalry game. I think LSU has a lot better play at quarterback. I think this one could get ugly early for sure. I got LSU coming out on top in this one, 35 to 13 over the Gators. And my uh, the team I'm going to put on upset alert, great performance last week by Northwestern against Ohio State. I think they could come off that one a little rough. I'm going to pick Wisconsin to beat Northwestern. Wisconsin's at home. Northwestern, number 19. I think Wisconsin will get it done at home over the number 19 Wildcats. So that's college. Now we'll go to the pros. The biggest, Probably the biggest pro game of the week, Saints versus Patriots. I think the Saints have too many weapons. Um, Rob Gronkowski will be back. Could struggle to get him integrated in the first week. The Patriots are at home, which is good, but I think the Saints are too stingy on defense, and Jimmy Graham is going to be too much of a matchup issue for Aqib Tlaib. So I'm going Saints 32, Patriots 18. And Packers, Ravens, another big game this week. Aaron Rodgers, Joe Flacco, two of the highest-paid quarterbacks in the NFL, going toe-to-toe. Ravens defense has been very shoddy. Um, the past game by Rodgers has improved each week quite drastically. I think they'll run the ball better. Eddie Lacy coming back off the bye with from his concussion. So I'm going to pick Packers in this one, 35-20 over the Ravens. I think Joe Flacco will throw a few more picks. And now I'll pick the Sunday night game, Cowboys and Redskins. Cowboys coming off that heartbreaking loss to the Broncos. Redskins coming off a bye week. Before that, they beat Oakland. This game could be closer than people think. I think the Cowboys will get it done. Tony Romo and Des Bryant will be hook it, will be able to hook up. Miles Austin will come back and have an influence as well this week. I'm picking Cowboys 28, Redskins 16. That game is in Dallas. All right, so I'll be back on Monday. I'll go around the shield with you every NFL game. A quick breakdown of that in about two to two and a half minutes. I'll give you my Monday night football pick between the Colts and the Chargers. We'll do an NCAA football review, give you the top players of the week. Get you set for the Heisman pre the Heisman update on Wednesday, and I'll also give you my updated top five. We'll be getting closer to BCS times. So we'll be getting some BCS predictions coming on as well. We'll take a look at the MLB playoff series as well, just to see where they've been. As they'll have, each have two games in by that time on Monday. Thanks for tuning in the Blog and Grill. Always remember to follow me on Twitter, Yankeeballer415. Check me out, JB Smooth. 84.com. Comment, question, subscribe to my page. Thanks for tuning in. Have a nice weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday, right here on Doug Sports Blog and Grill.